What's up everybody on YouTube, Free Swimmer here. A little update. I'm waiting on a pond aeration system with a couple weighted air diffusers to break the surface because the water pressure and the current with <clears throat> excuse me, the 800 gallon per hour mag drive pump does amazing stuff but it's a little bit heavy for the fish but in the meantime, if you all saw the last video when I was talking about it, it's just a dusty mess on the surface. The surface of the tank water looked horrible. So, the whole point that I got that mag drive was to give a good surface break and clear it up. And so I decided to put it on yesterday evening and let it go all night. And yes, absolutely, the surface is clear again. No more dust, no more crud, no more garbage on the surface. And in the process of doing a bunch of uh, YouTube, Google searching, and just Google searching of all sorts of things to do with surface, sediment, dust, oily look in large aquariums slash ponds, I think the amount of light <clears throat> that the tank has might have a little contributing factor to a possible uh, little growth of algae or something of that nature that helps it be a little bit more surface gooky. I think uh, I'm going to test the, the light theory by backing off my lights on the tank about two hours a day see if that helps because I know it was dusty for the first three hours still with the, the pump running, busting up the surface. But after the nighttime come this morning, it was all clear again. So I don't know if that's a telltale sign that extended light period has something to do with surface discoloration and sort of a dusty sediment, be it an algae growth or something. I know I could possibly look at a UV sterilizer, but with 1,200 gallons of water going through it, I would need a pretty monster size bulb, a megawatt bulb UV to kill. And I'm thinking I'm going to look for some floating plants once I get my bubblers in here and get my lighting switched around. We're going to see about some floating plants, see what they can do for keeping the surface a little bit more clear. I know they'll give shady spots they'll change the whole look of the tank again but hopefully my wood will be a, absorbing enough water to be saturated to be waterlogged I found a couple more pretty good looking branches today while I was working they are magnolia branches that had obviously been there long enough there was no bark except for a little bit left on them I blasted it off cleaned them really good with a pressure washer right now I'm drying them and they're going to go in the big bin with the other water. One of them is a good five feet, almost six feet long. So I'm looking forward to getting them in here. Might be some nice tannins. And uh, I'm really liking the natural look. And the fish like a little bit of a more subdued lighting and a tannin water. They don't want the crystal clear. So anyway, that's enough of my rambling. Just wanted to share my thoughts on what I did with the surface and what I'm going to be doing with the surface and I had such a a good experience with the wet spot tropical when I ordered the five fish I did the two parrots and the three blue acara I think I'm going to order three blue electric blue acara and possibly if they have any fest of them any flag cichlids I'm I'm going to look, I'm going to get in touch with them and see if I could get three of those as well. I have one more shipment of fish coming. I know I don't have very many fish in here. <laughs> I guess that's the beauty of it. I just wanted a tank so big that if I want three more fish, I can get three more fish. Alright everybody, hope the rest of your week goes well. Leave me a comment. Tell me what's going on. Thanks for everybody who's uh, looking at me and uh, hope the best for everybody. Later.